I heard that if you replace your air conditioner system, it'll literally pay for itself in three years. Is that true? That's a great point, Mike. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about how you can do that. Welcome back. I'm Tori Tyler. And I'm Mike Solomon. Is it true that I can really have my return on investment for getting a new air conditioning in three years? In some cases. It's not necessarily true for everyone out there. So somebody who uses a lot of air conditioning, the percentage of air conditioning electricity used on their bill is going to be really high. So if I live in my home and I'm there all the time with my wife, my kids, the baby, everybody's there. The winter house left at 76, sometimes 74 degrees. I'm going to use a lot of electricity to heat and cool my house. My percentage will be really high. If I change my air conditioner system out to a higher sear, probably gonna see that. In other cases though, if I am real frugal with my air conditioner use and I leave my house at 80 degrees when I sleep and I turn it up to 85, 86 when I'm gone and I'm only home for eight to 10 hours a day, I'm not gonna see as much of a savings on that, that new system. But it is possible that you could see it in three years for those who use a lot of electricity to heat and cool their home. Oh, wow. That's, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. So there's different SEER ratings that you want to take a look at. SEER being the energy efficiency ratio that the air conditionings are uh, rated by. A higher SEER is going to give you more efficient. So I have a 10 year old system. What, what, what SEER rating do you think my system is? So 10 years ago, they were probably using it about a SEER 12 air conditioner system. Okay, wow, what's the average that you put in nowadays? The minimum required in California is 14. Our average, we put a 16 SEER in. Oh wow, so if I had a 12 and I go to a 16, how much savings is that for you know me uh, having a 10 year old system? On average, every two SEER step up from a 12 to a 14 would be about 10% from a 12 to a 16 would be about a 20%. And you can go up from there too. Oh, wow. So just in my particular case, that's 20% savings right off the bat, just if I go at the average. That's right. And there's also savings available and rebates from local utility companies. They change every year. So we'd have to look at them to see what's available out there for you and your area. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I can save all my energy bill and I can possibly get some money back from my utility company to save money from them. That, that, that's good. That's right. It would reduce the cost of that air conditioner system and help on that return of investment. So by replacing my SEER 12 air conditioner system with the SEER 16 air conditioner system, I could save enough money that if I financed my system, I could actually pay for the financing costs. We've done a video on financing before, so check it out if you're interested. So what Mike is saying is that if you have a system that's 10 years older and you need to replace it, you could do it with our financing and you could have your payments as low as what your energy savings are matches that monthly payment to where you're not changing your household expense by upgrading to a new AC system. So if you find yourself in that situation, you can contact us below. We service all of the Coachella Valley and Riverside areas. I'm Mike. And I'm Tori with Anthem Heating and Air Conditioning Tips. And we'll see you next time.